All right, today we're going to be uh, doing some conversions, some two-step conversions, um, because they're a little bit more complicated than one step. So if you get two-step, then one step's really easy. Um, but we're going to start off, and we have to remember a couple of things here. Um, we have two things that we can convert. We can convert between moles and grams. And we can convert between moles and atoms. All right, we cannot convert between grams and atoms. Okay, that is just not something that we can do because every element weighs something different. All right, if we're going to convert between, um, well, let's look at a different example here really quick so we can kind of see what we're doing. If I have 36 eggs, and I want to know how many dozen of eggs I have. Well, I can always go eggs, dozen, and there are 12 eggs in one dozen. Okay? So this number here, this is things that are equal to each other. 12 eggs is equal to one dozen eggs. All right? These two numbers don't have anything to do with each other other than the fact that they both have eggs in them. Right? So when we set up a problem, if I say that I have 17.3 times 10 to the 25th atoms of acetic acid, Then when I set up my table, I can go back and say, okay, well, I know that I can convert between atoms and grams, or atoms and moles, and I can convert between grams and moles. Okay, so I'm going to be looking at this one, these things that equal each other. So if we go back to that number, we have 17.3e to the 25. Atoms of acetic acid, then I'm going to take and I'm going to look at what this is and I'm going to put that same thing down here. Whatever that is, whatever this is, I'm going to put the same thing down here. Then I'm going to look back and say, okay, so I've got my atoms. This is what goes on top of that. So this becomes my moles. All right? Whenever I have this ratio, whenever I have an atom-mole ratio, whenever I have this, my atoms are always 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. My moles is always 1. So I'd go 17.3 times 10 to the 25th times 1 divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. That is going to give me 287 0.375 moles of acetic acid. Now both of these hydrogens are the same hydrogens. Um, they're separated for a different reason. We'll talk about that um, in like November, so don't worry about that right now, but they are both hydrogens. All right, so I have here three sig figs. Sorry, three sig figs. Here I have three sig figs, so my answer should also have three sig figs, so this is going to be 287 moles of acetic acid. Okay, I'll take that forward, 287 moles of acetic acid. Now I've got moles here, so I want moles down here. If I go back to what I know we have, Okay, I am at moles. I can go back to atoms, but that's what I just came from, so I don't really want to. So I'm going to go this equivalence this time. And so I'm going to go to grams. The equivalence here is there is one mole for every weight of these. So we're going to go 1.01 .01 times 4, because there are four hydrogens, 12.01 and 16.00 times 2, which is going to give me a grand total of 60.06 .06 grams is equal to 1 mole. Okay, 
So we're going to put that 60.06 .06 here, times there, divide there. That will give me 17,237.22 grams of acetic acid. If we look back here, we see that we have three, we have four, so my answer should have three. So of acetic acid. Okay, and that would be my answer there. All right, we'll talk to you next time.